Land Rover Discovery Sport. We're starting to do some videos on this. We've got much more important things to do because it's got dents and it's crashed and everything. But for some reason we've decided, someone's asked, said, Simon, can you do a video now you've got one? Can you do a video of how to change this bit? Now, it is a bit scratched, isn't it, Kate? Yeah, it's a bit faded. A bit. Let's, let's, let's get a nice shiny one up next to it. So we've got these new ones we're going to fit. And then that Ultra Deer. But, oh, has that got a scratch on it already? Oh, they come with a protective film on, don't they? Yeah. Right then. So is that the right side? No. Yes. Right. So you can see that they do with polishing and that. And I guess people try and clean bird poop off them. So they're quite shiny. Maybe we ought to sell them in a pair, Kate. Yeah. I think we put them on the website individually. Kate's listed these for me. But I'm just thinking, if you could, if you, saying, if you change one, the other one's going to look super rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> right, anyway, let's go. So, I've never done one of these before, but if you look at the clips, it's got some sort of, like, locating bits here. And it's got these metal clips here. Um, so it looks like it's just going to hoik off backwards. It's not like it's got any sealing tape or... Anything, we'll have a go, shall we? What do you reckon? Right, so there's no, there's no fixings on the inside. I reckon we're just gonna have to get on it. And oh, I've got a bit of a let's, let's have a look. There you go. Oh, he's you don't want to. Right, that was a bit of a wrestle, but it, it sounded like it was breaking, didn't it? Yeah, it didn't sound good. It didn't sound good, but it, I think it's just, it's just letting go. Right, we'll grab some polish, we'll clean that up quickly, and then we'll come back and we'll have a go. So let's, well, we're, ah, so these sort of blades, this sheet of metal here must form a blade that these metal spring clips grip onto and you can see where it's gripped on I don't know if you can see from that side some little scratches there so it grips onto that and then this side I guess these oh yeah they have got a bit of a they have got a bit of a sort of barb bar that's the word and they must grip onto these little locating squares here but I don't know if there's any easier way of releasing those barbs I think it's probably going to be the Anyway, it came off. We'll try the other one in a second. Right, let me clean this. We'll refit that. And we'll have a go on that one as well, just to see if there's any, see how, how reliably they come off. Right, one thing Kate has just pointed out to me is they have got right hand written in them and obviously left hand. So I reckon, I reckon we're good to go. So we've got it all nice and shiny. I don't reckon there's any tricks or, well, let's have a look. Right, which side? You can... I'm just trying to see if it sort of settles. It's this trim line here I've got to watch. I don't want it to that's lined up. That's lined up. I reckon just give it a give it a push. You want to be careful you don't scratch it. You don't want to put gloves on. It's, it's, it's sort of wriggling a bit. That's it. Simple. That's not too bad, is it? Right, let's have a go at this one again then. Um, film from that side, Kate. I seem to get better leverage in there. It's that, it's that initial, and then you can just about get your fingers in there. Yeah, you have to fight those badges off, don't you? There we go. Let's, we'll clean that up. We'll get, but there. Yeah, I mean, look at. I don't know if we can compare those two, but yeah, this. They looks a bit a little bit lackluster, doesn't it? I think they're about forty pounds from Land Rover each, which, considering it's all painted and that ready to go, I don't think it's too bad. And you've got all the clips. There we go. Right, we'll get the other one on and we'll do a final picture of it all done. Right, we're just cleaning it and Kate spotted. Look, it's time and you've left the you left the clip behind. So, which, if you haven't noticed it, when you go to put the other one on, you're going to be fighting. And so, yeah, make sure. There you go. Make sure, there you go, you can see how the clips work there. Um, make sure when you've got it, when you're cleaning it, make sure you've got all those clips 
all those clips off and make sure you've got nothing left behind here. The one thing that's really good actually about this is all this is metal. All this is steel. So you're not going to break anything here. Anything that's going to break is on the bit that you're removing, which 90% of the time you're going to be throwing away anyway. Right, let's get that other one on. Right, we go. Right. That is it. Yeah, they pop on fine. Ooh, watch my teacup. There we go. Give those a clean, but we've got... I guess when you're cleaning these, you're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to use quite a soft microfiber cloth uh, to avoid micro scratching. But there we go. It's not quite fully repaired yet, is it, Kate? But we, right, what pillars, what pillars are these? Here's a point of debate, isn't it? Because I thought it was A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, D pillar. But there are some debates about is A, B, C, D, e, yeah, I don't know how it works, but I'm gonna call it a D pillar. But let's start that debate, shall we? Right, last thing Kate and I were talking, could we, could we make like a custom, because they're quite easy to change. Could we make one with some like inset lights or an LED strip in it or some like fins? Or is that all a bit back to the future 1980s? There's nothing wrong with back to the future 1980s. Kate's laughing. Right, hope you enjoyed that.